Hi Libras, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy read for you guys. I'm going to pull some cards for you and see what messages the universe has for you. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so the first two cards that came out of the deck is the Eight of Swords, and we also have the King of Wands, okay? So some of you could be dealing with someone who's very passionate, who's a go-getter and a leader. It could be a fire sign here, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the Eight of Swords, feeling mentally stuck, not being able to make a decision about something. Um, I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling like, should I stay? Should I leave? Should I give this person the benefit of the doubt? Will they ever change? Or what should I do here? Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras for this quick energy check-in? All right, so we have the Four of Wands, reconciliation, celebration, and marriage. Some of you may be dealing um, with a situation and you may be married to this person, I feel like you're trying to ask yourself, like, is it better to reconcile with this person? I'm sorry, because I had the card up in a different position. Is it better to reconcile with this person or let this go? You don't know what you want to do about this situation, but some of you are definitely married here. Um, also, you don't know if you want to leave a situation that's stable and solid to go off on your own. You're not sure whether it's going to work or not or whether you'll meet someone else that you can get along with. I feel like you have a lot of history with this person and you're not sure if letting them go is the right thing to do, Libra. I feel like you have a lot of decisions that you're trying to make here, but you're just not sure about any of them. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about a marriage for some of you. Some of you are married to this person. You may be thinking if you walk away from them, what will happen um, financial with your financials here, with your finances, not financials, I'm sorry. You may be wondering what's going to happen with your finances or maybe you're going to wonder if, what's going to happen with their finances, especially if you're taking care of everyone and paying all of the bills. Spirit, what messages do you have for me, all right, so we have the King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. I don't know which way to hold these cards because of the way the pictures are on them, but it's okay. <laughs> so some of you may be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn here. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Libras? I just feel you guys are confused, but um, something here, you're going to be climbing the ladder of success. Some of you could be going to school. You could be getting a new job. Um, maybe you're opening up a business for yourself. But I see you doing really, really well. Okay. So what messages do you have for Libras? For this quick energy check-in, what messages do you have for Libras? Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles and Successful came right out behind each other. Okay. I feel like you guys are either trying to buy a house or a car or it's some type of big ticket purchase that you may make because you are successful if this isn't right now it's going to be coming towards you in 2022 so you're going to be able to purchase something or maybe um your bank account is looking really good it's something here with this ace of pentacles and with the um success card so congratulations guys whatever this is for you because i feel like you've worked very hard on making it happen for yourself you may have um had to make some sacrifices to get to where you are and i feel like a lot of people don't understand it but they're going to see just by you um being successful and then we have planning on an event here some of you may be taking a trip you may be planning a party for someone soon maybe you guys or um for some of you i feel like it's a wedding or a baby shower or something someone you know may be giving birth soon and then we have the world card we have endings and Something's ending, and then we have new beginnings here. So we have the world cards, um, Scorpio energy. All right, so these two cards flipped out. Yeah, look at this. We got Scorpio energy twice here with the world and the death card. Some of you guys are walking away from something, Libra. You're walking away from a situation. And with this seven of pentacles, you're investing in something better or smarter. I don't know what this is for you guys, but whatever it is, some of you are just saying, you know what? I need change. Um, something has to transform into something different for you because I feel like you're tired of going through the same thing or dealing with the same person and, and nothing's changing for you. 
This could be an earth sign you're dealing with, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? And then we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like you found love elsewhere. Okay, you're wanting to offer genuine love to someone here. And they're wanting to offer love to you as well with this Page of Cups. So I feel like some of you are walking away from a situation. But you're trying to make sure whatever situation you're like walking away from, you're trying to make sure that the person you're walking away from is taken care of for some of you. Or someone is doing this for you. This may not resonate with each and every Libra out there. So pick what resonates with you and leave the rest. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Libras? All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you have to leave someone out in the cold here. I'm sorry that I have to keep flipping these cards, guys, but this is the way they are. So whoever made these cards, like the pictures are not the way they're supposed to be <laughs> so anyway but um with this i really like this deck though it's just that the pictures are sideways so i have to flip the cards over but with the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles someone is juggling here so this could be you juggling with the situation with more than one person trying to make a decision i feel like you guys are walking away from someone for whoever this is resonating with if you're walking away from someone i feel like you're trying to make sure they're good before you walk away and then you have other plans in mind I see your money is going to be good here, okay? Whatever you're working on is going to be successful. And I feel like somebody's going to be jealous of you. Like, they don't see your success now, but they will. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Yeah, and we have the Two of Swords, but you're still confused. You know what, Libras? I just know, um, I know a lot of Libras and you guys go back and forth in your head it's like you'll make a decision on something and then you'll second guess it again the universe is telling you don't second guess whatever this is you're making the right choice you're going in the right direction but i feel like you've been second guessing something for um quite some time possibly even years yes yeah, so we have the star card okay some of you could be dealing with an aquarius um if not I just feel like your wishes, hopes, and dreams will be fulfilled here with someone. I feel like this is about someone that you guys are going towards. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio as well with this page of cups here. Spare, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know with this quick energy check-in? Yeah, Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. New beginnings. Some of you guys are getting clarity on something. You're going to understand why something else didn't work out and why you had to walk away from a situation. We also have the Hierophant. You're looking for commitment. And you're like, you know what? If some of you guys are already commi committed to a situation, maybe it did not work out. And where you're headed, this is the right person for you. I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like you guys have new love. And if you don't, you will. Because you have two aces already here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Mm hmm. What did I just say? I feel like some of you have new love or you will. Two of Cups. Feeling and caring soulmate connection for each other. Both of you guys share the same feelings and sentiments for each other with this Two of Cups energy. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? All right, so we have the hangman in reverse. You're no longer stuck on someone else. I feel like you're going to be moving away from the situation here. We have the queen of cups. You're extremely emotional about this person, okay? And I feel like the reason why you're walking away from this is with the five of swords energy. This person could have been playing mind games. They could have been manipulating the situation and trying to control you, and you're done with that. You're done with letting this person control you, Libra. Yeah, and we have the Page of Swords. They're going to be keeping their eye on you, okay? This is someone who's very immature in their communication. There could be a lot of conflict and spying between this person and you. Like, they're looking in on what you're doing here, trying to figure out what's going on in your head. Maybe if you're not talking to them and telling them. So maybe you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, such as yourself. And we have Justice, your card coming out here. But I feel like some of you may have some sort of court issue going on. If you do, I feel like you're going to come out on top of that. 
maybe that's what that money situation was all about with the success um the successful card that came out and the ace of pentacles something's going to be balancing out in your favor there's going to be luck on your side here spirit what messages do you have for libras all right so we have the five of wands and the high priestess um i just feel like there's a lot of conflict and fights and arguments between you and someone and you're tired of it but you may be sneaking off from the situation and not letting this person know what the high priestess it could be with a fire sign an aries leo or a sagittarius spirit what messages do you have for libras what messages do you have for libra so we're going to get one more and then we're going to get some message cards all right so we have the magician look at that manifestation okay having the tools to create whatever you want to happen in reality so you guys are creating something for yourself and i feel like you've been working on this for quite some time whether this is romance finances school a job whatever this is for you it's going to work out okay and i feel like you guys don't see it okay so this card just came out of the deck i picked the deck up and this card slid right out to the side the knight of swords okay um someone is coming to communicate with you i feel like somebody is not going to want you to leave they're going to come in trying to communicate with you okay um very fast okay possibly being reckless and immature you know not like listening to what you have to say so some of you possibly can expect this from this person they may send you a text message or they may call you on the phone and they may ask why you haven't been calling them or maybe this is you doing this to someone but i see it coming in for you guys with the knight of swords this person is going to come in and they're going to be acting extremely reckless having a lot to say but i feel like you're not going to let that bother you libra because i feel like you actually tried with this person so whatever this is for you you try to make this work and you have been very very patient and i feel like because of that this person is realizing that they're they're like they screwed up this is not on you this is on them so um however this is for you guys make sure you flip and reverse the roles here because if this is not you feeling this way this could be your person but we have a surprise okay someone is coming in they're like whoever this is coming in for you i feel like this is new energy your guard may be up because you may not trust love but the universe is telling you to trust it take the blindfold off and see whatever this is that's going to come your way because i feel like it's going to shock you it's going to surprise you okay this could be new love for you like i said or finances so let's get some message cards here and let's see what else the universe has to say about your reading I'm trying to see what message cards I want to use for you guys. All right, I use these. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know about their situation? Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? Dang, okay. That was too many. Definitely. All right. Okay, what messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know? Okay, I'll just take this one. I love you, but I'm not ready to settle down right now. Can you be patient and wait till I'm ready? So someone wants you to wait on them. This is possibly this person that's going to be coming in, being really reckless, having a lot to say, but realizing that they screwed up this connection, Libras. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? You're someone I can be open with. That's one of the reasons why I love you so much. Okay, what, all right, that card wanted to pop out. Let me see what it is. She doesn't communicate with me like you do. So I feel like um, someone is going to be telling you that this other person that they may have chosen over you, this is possibly why you're walking away from them. They may come back and tell you this person doesn't communicate with them like you do or they don't treat you, treat them like you do. I feel like somebody's going to try to get you to stay or stop you from leaving Libra. So keep that in mind. Spirit, what messages do you have? I love you. I, I'm sorry. Not I love you. I love your kind, romantic, nurturing side. So this person loves how kind and nurturing you are, even when you shouldn't be. I feel like your kisses turn me on. I love your lips. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? 
thoughts of you consume my mind on a daily basis. We also have, I've been talking to my friends about you and they think we're good for each other. I hope you're thinking about me because I'm thinking about you right now. All right, and let's get one more. Spare, what messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know about this situation? All right, so we have holding back. Holding back my true feelings because I'm afraid to commit and then things don't work out between us. So someone could be holding back from you. The trust was broken. How can you repair this connection with no trust? And then we have no one else has ever made me feel the way you do. So those are the messages that I have for your reading Libras. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my of Alive Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.